successful without discipline? Well, discipline is required to live a successful life on your own terms and not by chance. Some people may associate the word discipline with physical exercise, but that is not the case. Order is what discipline entails. It's the ability to plan out specific aspects of your life with a long-term strategic goal in mind. Discipline allows you to build yourself in long-term manner. It's what those who do not desire to live their lives to chance will always use as a better option. Thank you for tuning into this video. Watch it until the end because it will change what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss the great content to inspire your life. Now, let's consider these top 15 disciplines to include into your life. Number 1. Discipline yourself. Nobody cares enough about you to make you the priority, so you have to make yourself the priority. We are still living in the lifetime of influencers and social leaders when many people are searching for advice and someone even to solve their problems for them. If you go through the entire video, you'll find that it builds up into disciplining your actions and your choices to influence the best outcomes for you. Without it, you'll find that life can be a horrible place, filled with unfairness. Life seems unfair to those who live in the lives that others have set for themselves. The moment you start living your own, everything happens because of you and you realize you're getting exactly what you're asking for. Competing with yourself is the ultimate game. Number 2. Discipline your thoughts. Your ideas have an impact on your future. Have you ever kept a journal of your life or simply taken the time to observe what's going on in your head throughout the day? Sometimes people might be shocked by self-observation. How much buzz is there? And it is especially if they have not trained their mind. Disengage the autopilot switch. Take the controls. Become a disciplined observer. You have the power to discipline your mind. Focus on the important things you need to solve. Your mind is a gold mine. Only the gold is buried under all that noise. Disciplining your thoughts is then a sure shot way to achieve a successful life. Number 3. Discipline your intuition. Intuition is a real thing. It acts as your life compass. Just calm your mind, slow down and you'll experience a tremendous expense at the moment. You see so much more than you could see before. People who are not used to get usually surprised as it might show them something that is outside their beliefs or a concept of their personal ego. It is like an insight come out of the blue. The greatest minds like Steve Jobs had the discipline and practiced it throughout the years. How are you enjoying this content so far? You can show me your support and give this video a like. Stay with me until the end as I make this 15 minutes full of value to help you focus on how to elevate the quality of your life. Number 4. Discipline your mornings. Smart people like you love making morning rituals and get an extra day's worth of work. Explore the power to start your day if you haven't already. As for everything on this list, small acts lead to greatness by being compounded over long periods. If you get one little thing done every morning, in a year you would have done 365 more little wins than anyone else, assuming you work the same as they do the rest of the day. This is the potential to discipline your mornings. I personally like to write 5 small targets every morning to accomplish that day. I'll explain it in a while. Number 5. Discipline your growth. We become what we are willing to go after, yet many people settle for what is convenient. The main reason why most successful people achieve success is that they make it their goal to get there. For them, the goal isn't a success, it's a specific target, a specific number, a specific lifestyle that has been deconstructed and built 
one brick at a time for years. Success is a byproduct of hitting your personal goals. I've spent the last decade studying successful people and this one really stands out. Your day is a miniature of your life. Imagine what big five goals you want to achieve between now and final day of your life to see your life as well lived, truly remarkable time. Then write down your top five values. And now every day in the morning put five little goals that you want to achieve during that day. Remember, those five little wins daily produce 150 little wins monthly and 1825 little wins in a year. Enjoy every step. The feeling of being alive comes not only from experience, but from growth too. Your life can consistently get better. If you make it your goal to become better consistently. There are levels even to self-help. Many people fall into the trap of content consumption. At one point, you need to follow through on what you're learning. We must be impatient with our actions and patient with results. Number 6. Discipline your body. Your body is your vessel throughout this life. The average person has thousands of wishes, but the sick person has just one. It's surprising the kind of impact hope and body can have on one's reality. Too many times people end up with unhealthy bodies and consequently their life get limitations. Our body white limits your ability to live certain experiences. Your organs are working overtime to keep things going. The pandemic has been a wake-up call for many people who have not disciplined their bodies. Get yourself a strong body if you want to create a successful life. Number 7. Discipline what you consume. We are running on the energy that we put into ourselves, into our bodies, into our minds and our souls. The better your inputs, the better your outputs. If you want to be treated as an adult, you better start making decisions as an adult. You eat food because it serves the purpose of health, not that of taste. Consume content because it helps you grow, not as entertainment. Of course, entertainment, as well as the desert, have their places in our life. However, too many people only consume the desert in its many forms of consumption. They eventually find out the harsh truth is that desert doesn't get you the gains you were aiming for. Discipline your consumption. Stay with me until the end because you don't want to miss the most important ones. Number 8. Discipline your environment. We are the byproduct of the environment we grow in, as much as a flower needs the right soil to blossom. Few people understand that they can choose to change their environment and it's quite easy to do so. Even more so, a change in environment has immediate impacts on the way you experience life. It starts with the room you spend the most of your time in, then your home, then what you see when you look out of the window. Your environment is one of the deepest ingredients of who you are, so make sure you find a good one. Number 9. Discipline the way people perceive you. We are what we think other people think we are. We live in this perception-driven world where we all present ourselves to serve personal purposes such as being liked, being accepted, climbing the ladder to a goal we find fitting or that society has taught us it holds in high regard. One should discipline the way they present themselves to the world for that this is the only way the world will remember who you are. Number 10. Discipline your inner happiness. Being happy or not is a choice we have to make every day. One builds on happiness the same way they do with everything else on this list. It's small and big steps altogether, but steps made consistently nonetheless. Most valuable thing we found is that happiness does not depend on other facts. Here's a very important distinction. The lack of resources can make you unhappy, but their presence doesn't improve your happiness beyond the point of equilibrium. Number 11. Discipline your desires. Desire is a deal you make with yourself not to be happy 
until that desire is fulfilled. One should pick their wishes very carefully, for they are very strong. We are overwhelmed by desires and the more desires we have, the less we actually can achieve. This is one of the keystones of creating a successful life. If you want to be successful in life, pick very few desires and go after them with all you've got. Your end goal is to be desire free, to have everything you need and not to feel like you need anything else. Number 12. Discipline your addictions. Addictions are traits you make with the world. You give them a part of yourself in exchange for temporary pleasure. The problem with it lies in the word temporary. You are sacrificing long-term results for short-term pleasure. It doesn't take too many as such trades before there's nothing left for you to trade as life will take everything from you. Any form of addiction is detrimental to your well-being. Identify it in its beginning stages and find ways to remove it from your life. Even if it will require professional help, temporary discomfort and some money for an addiction-free life. That's always a good deal. Thank you that you made it so far in this video. You are a champion of your life. There are four more disciplines to come, but I want you to remember this. The action only can bring you a result. Only consistent actions can bring you desired change. Number 13. Discipline or friendships. It is commonly said that we are a mix of five people closest to us. The quality of your life is determined by the quality of friendships you establish along the way. So then, if the friendships are managed well, it can help you create a successful life. What if I told you that your life will be almost the same as the ones of your friends? 10 to 20% variation. Would you be happy? We are social creatures and our social environment is the foundation of building our future life. Hang out with losers and you will be a loser yourself. You don't know, but like a boat bound to other vessels, you're tied to your mates. Therefore, they call it friendship. If all these vessels go one way and you go another, they will pull you in the right direction. We love to dream, but this is just not what happens. That our boat can pedal quicker and pull everyone with us. Number 14. Discipline your impact. The value of individuals is determined by what it leaves behind when it's not gone, but when it's alive. Or very simply, be great now. People think it takes a great deal of money to do charity, because media only publishes the stories involving a lot of zeros. But that's not where the bulk of the impact comes from. It comes from small interactions, little actions that have a small but effective ripple effect in local communities. Discipline yourself to have an impact on the scale you have right now. If you're not kind when you're poor, it's unlikely you'll be kind when you're rich. Number 15. Discipline your sleep. Either you are still following means goals or the creative end goals. If your goal can be achieved through the direct volume of work, then do it. Sleep 4 to 5 hours per night, wake up early and put in as many hours as you can so you can get your goal quickly. I've done this multiple times in the past. If your goal requires creative leaps, then sleep on it. It's an explosion of productivity for very short periods, followed by rest and training for the one coming up next. To become successful, if you are starting from scratch, the first approach will get you better and more concrete results. But once you do make it out of the hole, I found that the second approach is more productive long term. Well, these were the top 15 disciplines you can start implementing in your life. I cannot just stress more how discipline influences my life to better. I believe you can do the same. Please feel free to share your stories or thoughts on these in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. So you'll be notified as I upload next time. Everything is a training for something. Do the work.